Right then, week two, and it is all go. At the moment, Gary's down here working on the electric step. I think there's some bits missing on that. A uh, load of the electrics are underneath the seat. Little things like some spotlights and stuff are in. And I am working on a wall unit to go here. Okay, so this is the start of the wall unit. Uh, it's a little bit different, this one. It's got a microwave in it. How it's going to work, it's obviously tall. This is top to bottom um, because the van's so tall. Microwave's going to go here. Roughly there. On this side, there'll be a timbre door which will mash the one opposite, so it's finishing at the top and bottom in the same place. That leaves this little space above, so we're just going to make a cutout with a shelf inside. We'll get on with cutting that now. So that's the front of that unit finished. Um, microwave housing on this side, that's going to sit proud obviously. Just a shelf above. And there'll be a timbre door on here. Alright, get the base done and offer it up inside. Right, I've got the front and the base cut. They're all scribed in. I've also probably seen the batten across the roof and across the back. They're both fixed, so I've got two fixing points. And I've re-stood the kitchen into place, make sure it's all going to line up nicely, which it does beautifully. I put a temporary panel in there to make sure it lights across. At the top there, it's going to be, you know, absolutely fine. Um, but the next job's a real sod. What he'd like now is to lose the panel I made for the edge of the edge of the kitchen before and make one panel so it comes up forms the base of the kitchen then kicks back in and 
against that metal post there, then comes up and forms the side of the wall unit. <laughs> what could go wrong? Well, this is about as much fun as being kicked in the nuts. That unit is in. It's got to come out again, yeah, because we've, we've got to put the timbers on it. It's actually, Gary's going to put the timbers on it. Um, but it's all sat there. It's got all its structure in. I'll go and show you it from the other side. It's have fallen over. So that's it, it all looks nice. And then from the back, ignore the this bit popping out, that's cut ready, and the bottom bit's got to be edged across, but it's all done. It's all looking nice. Um, I'm going to get the timbers sorted now, ready for Gary, get the routering done for it. Um, just while I'm here though, these cushions have just turned out. Check them out. I'm now going to start on the unit across that wall while Gary runs some electrics into the kitchen. And then hopefully later on today, going to get the, the work surface on and um, fit the fridge, sink, oven. I knew there was something else. It's all go this morning. Um, just thought I'd show you the way I run the pipes, etc. So you can see the hot and cold are coming through there and above that is a gas pipe. That's going to be labelled of course. And you can probably see the coil there. The coil's there so that'll sit behind the oven which is here and it's to enable you to move the oven forward tighten all the the bolts up on the gas and push it back it acts like a sort of a spring um, down the bottom is hopefully you can see that drop out valve um, and beside that is the waste for the sink and on top the shelf goes and that's the base of the oven and the top of the shelf um, after that fridge goes back in hopefully this kitchen is done it's 35 degrees it's nearly four o'clock uh, I just dead to the world I've got to stop now not quite as far as I'd like to have been but not bad all the units are up there Kitchen's finished. That's all plumbed in, gassed up. Electrics done on the fridge and the oven and all that, and the microwave. It's that's done. Um, looks nice. See across the back there. It does look good. Needs a silicone line around the back here. I've built the the frame for the inside of the chair as well. Let's get that finished off. Um, I haven't stuck it though, it is so hot in here, I've just come back in here and I'm pouring the sweat again, it's just ridiculous. Um, so yeah, that'll be it for today. Um, back on Monday, get this van finished. My 11th day on this van, my last day on this van. Tomorrow they need to pack. The day after, first thing in the morning, they're off on holiday. There's still a lot to do. So here's where we are. The front seat is pretty much there. Um, there's, there's some odd jobs to do up this end. Bathroom needs some work. It's got to have the bits down the back. It's got to have the toilet in. There's still some plumbing to do. The timber door needs to be fitted. Kitchen, kitchen's looking pretty good. Let's take it around the back. Let's 
still got this bed to do. Got a bit of work to do with the gas. Uh, the wall units up here. Got to make the end panels, get those on. Um, the electric bed, Gary's finished that. Well, finished it for now. He needs some edge capping to go on. Um, you can see the grey lines down the side. Uh, but that's not going to affect him going away. Um, I think it's time for a coffee and then get on with this. Okay, after 11 days, and by the skin of its teeth, this van is done. Well, as near as damn it. They can go away in it this week. They're going away, I think, tomorrow, actually. So, you know, close. <laughs> um, right, let's just give you a quick guide around it. You've got two single beds in the back. Ignore the other table there. That table fits in that hole there, so the back one can be in all the time. And the other one can be added whenever it's needed. There will be uh, a small shelf unit coming down that wall, but we just run out of time for now. And then above it is the electric bed, which you've already seen. Coming round, the mirror on the wall there. And then the bathroom. Bathroom is lovely. There's loads of room in it. Nice shower in it. And it's got a 30 psi pump in this. So the shower really, really works. A sure flow pump, 10 litre one a minute. Fantastic thing actually. I've got the same one in my van. Um, on the other side, the kitchen. So got the sink there obviously with the fridge below it. And then the oven, and the cupboard below, and another cupboard uh, beside it. A few electrics on the side there. Above, microwave with just a little cubby hole to fill the area. Another huge timbered unit beside it. And then coming round, this little unit going into the, the front. Around to the other side, another huge unit coming across, back around to the bathroom and below it, the travel seats and these are proper crash tested seats, all upholstered. The table at the back can also be fitted at the front here, uh, front seats are on swivels. Um, I think that's about it really. Uh, weather is terrible now. I think I'm going to call it a day. Um, really enjoyed building this van. So thanks Gary for giving me a call. And I hope you and your family enjoy your few weeks away. Well earned mate. Bye for now.